again, another excellent point, and I want to talk more about this because I, I really believe in this project. It's it's so important to give back. And really, I mean, this is a spiritual show. We talk about spiritual issues. And during the funding drive, I was, I was reading Creating Affluence by Deepak Chopra. And s- some of the main points in that book are about sharing and giving back and that feeling that you get when you truly help another person. And it's not just going into to this this pit of of poverty that's going or it's not going to you know you know where the money is going you know that it's going to make a difference you know that it's not going to end up in the hands of some drug lord or some government <laughs> guy you know yeah that that's really a great point like a few things really make christmas future stand out a hundred percent of the money that you choose to put towards projects on our site go to projects a hundred percent of that hits the ground um we raise our overhead separately also we give people choice you get to choose specifically the project and where you want the money to go which is great giving donors information and empowering them to choose man that that's exactly what is needed and what we want and then lastly we show that the world has changed because of that that choice. So online, you can track that project over time, um, YouTube videos and photographs and emails from the field. So you can actually see stuff going on. Awesome. Okay, well, we're going to take another break. So you're listening to Synchronicity, talk radio for your mind, body, and soul on CITR 101.9 FM in Vancouver. Hey, this is Synchronicity, talk radio for your mind, body, and soul. I'm your host, Marie, and we are talking with Jay Bedala, founder of ChristmasFuture.org. And uh, coming up in about 14 minutes, is Scotty's Scenic Drive, so stick around for that. Now, right now, uh, just before we wrap up the show, I want to ask about, um, because, so the money is is just being given at Christmas time. Is that right? Well, at this juncture, Christmas Future obviously has a huge focus around this particular holiday. Now, quite quickly, um, we're releasing an umbrella brand that allows, that will make it easier to brand other gifting opportunities, whether it's other seasonal opportunities, um, Easter, Ramadan, Hanukkah, or other gifting, general gifting opportunities like birthdays or weddings. So although, the, you know, we are able to go onto the website and gift any time off of the Christmas Future site, we're going to be creating other sub-brands that make it a lot easier. Great. So those will be posted on christmasfuture.org when they're ready? Yeah, you bet. But in the meantime, people can give all, all year round. So you could give someone a, a gift on christmasfuture.org in July for their birthday, but the money is not actually going to be sent out to these projects until the end of the year. Is that correct? Uh, no, we send out money to our partners on a quarterly basis. Oh, okay. Yeah, so every at this juncture, as, as we gain more and more velocity of dollars, we'll be getting those dollars to the field more quickly. Um, as well, we have sort of a timing of when and how we distribute those funds um, on milestone per project so that there's less chance of corruption. So you don't just write a big fat check and hope that something good happens. You distribute that money over time. And I have uh, another question about, uh, so let's say there was one I was looking at the other day. And okay, so here's the Honduras Women's Integral Empowerment Year One. Um, and it affects 110 people. The funding requirement is almost $38,000. So far, only $84.50 has been raised. So it, mm-hmm. that, that project needs a lot more funding. So you're going to send that $84 to them? Like, say there's no other donations to that project this quarter. Um, does that $84 still get sent out to them or does it get donated to another project that's closer to having its goal met? No, it's it's donor-directed funding. So that $84 was intended by a donor to go to that project and it will go to that project. One of the cool things that we've lined up with these projects and these partners is to ensure that there are alternate sources of funding in the case that in the short term we don't have enough do- dollars to go towards those projects. So they've secured other sources of funding if necessary to make those projects still happen. Well, Jay, we're, we're getting ready to wrap up the show. So I just wanted to ask you, um, what do you want to say about Christmas Future and what do you want to leave our listeners with? Well, I, as I, was, I, I think I was alluding to earlier, I really sincerely believe that this Christmas gift is a gift that changes the world. It doesn't just 
put a Band-Aid on the world that literally changes and saves lives. And what better gift could we give to each other, not just to our loved ones here, but loved ones abroad, our brothers and sisters in developing nations that we haven't even maybe met yet. So I really would strongly encourage people to consider giving a Christmas Future gift. If Christmas Future isn't your thing, I'd strongly recommend and encourage you to get involved in some way. So that's a really good point, Jay. Um, you talk about our, our brothers and sisters um, in other parts of the world, and and that is really important um, for us to remember that we are all connected, and, and that's what this show is all about, is that all of us, it's not just people in Vancouver, it's not just people in our clique of friends here or even in Canada or North America, it's about all of us working together and um, growing as a species. Mm-hmm, absolutely. And and the way the world changes isn't with a big bucket of money, although money can help change some things. The way the world changes is if we view the world differently. If we take responsibility for the world and say it's not okay that someone dies unnecessarily. I wouldn't think it's okay if my friend did, so why would I think it's okay if someone that I can't see does? There's not different rules. So let's vision, let's create a new dream for this world. Let's envision the world differently and go and create that and take responsibility for it. Jay, I'm, I'm curious, um, who are some of your, your mentors? Because um, you were there at the, the Wayne Dyer conference, um, but that was through Seed Productions. So they, did they seek you out? Um, yes, Greg, uh, Greg Mather at Seed Productions. I, I'd met Greg previously, and um, he had heard of Christmas Futures' work. And when we met... Uh, philosophically, we're just so aligned. Um, both of us working towards what's called karmic yoga and changing the world with your work, um, with your everyday efforts, um, selfless, selfless work. Um, so he's absolutely one of my mentors and one of my one of my everyday heroes. Um, but I just look around me and I see so many heroes, the people that are out there doing their best to provide for their families and take care of their responsibilities and do the right thing. Um, those are, those are the heroes, everyday people. And they're the people that want to change the world and will change the world. We just make it easy for them. That's what we're doing. We're just making it easy for people to do what they already want. Well, thank you, Jay. Thank you so much for being Mm -hmm. on the show. I really appreciate your time and I really appreciate um, all the effort and energy that that you're putting towards um, helping these people. Oh, and just before we we wrap up, um, there is a point that needs to be made. All of the funding that's required to run the website, you raise that separately, correct? That is correct. So 100% of the money that you're donating on christmasfuture.org and giving away as gifts for, for people to spread their, their abundance uh, throughout the world, all of that money, 100%, is going to the organization that the person you gift that to chooses. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can also, people can also allot that money for just whatever is needed as well. Exactly. So you can choose to put it towards a specific project, or you can just say, let Christmas Future figure it out for us, the highest need project. Um, And you can also donate to the Christmas Future operational budget on our site, so you can actually find us as a project on there. Excellent. Well, again, Jay, thank you so much, and happy holidays. Thank you so much, Marie. It was really great talking with you. Thank you. You too. Take care. So that was Jay Baydala from christmasfuture.org. If you have uh, gifts still on your list, uh, people on your your Christmas list that you just don't know what to buy for them, well, why not go to christmasfuture.org and take a look there? It's definitely something that will warm your heart and... uh, raise your spirits this holiday season. So I do encourage you to check that out, christmasfuture.org. Thank you so much to Jay Baydala for being on the show, and uh, thank you for listening. I'm Marie, and this is Synchronicity, talk radio for your mind, body, and soul. Next week, the African-American holiday known as Kwanzaa, Plus, you can call in and send out your holiday wishes to the world. So I hope you'll tune in next Friday for that. I'm here every Friday from 9 to 10 a.m. or noon to 1 p.m. on the East Coast at CosmicDimensions.com.
CITR.com. And you can check out past shows on podcast at CITR.ca. Up next, Scotty's Scenic Drive on CITR 101.9 FM, Vancouver.